Okay, so in this question, we're asked to order the decimals from least to greatest. All right, what we want to know about decimals is that after the point, we start with the tenth place, then the hundredth, then thousandth, etc. So we can start with the whole number. The whole number, that's the values before the point. So in this case, we have a whole number of zero. If you check all of these, they all start with zero. So the whole number is zero, point, and then we have decimal places. So we're going to compare the decimal places since the whole numbers for each number is the same. All right, so let's go over that again quickly. So in terms of the whole number, we have the same exact value for the whole number zero which means therefore we have to start compare based on the decimal places now if you look at this the greatest number of decimal places we have with these numbers is the third decimal place right look at it first second third decimal place we have two decimal places here we have three here one here two here three decimal places and one decimal place here so when i say decimal place i'm referring to how many digits we have after the point so we have one digit after the point, so we have one decimal place. We have three digits, five, zero, and two. Three digits after the decimal point, so we have three decimal places, two decimal places, one decimal place, three, two, three decimal places respectively. Okay, so since three decimal places is the highest one, what we're gonna do, we can actually change those that are less than three decimal places to three decimal places, the highest. And we can do that by simply adding a zero. Here, we have three decimal places here, three here. So we will need to add how many zeros will we need to add here? We have two decimal places now, and now we have three decimal places. Here we have two, so we're gonna put a zero here to make it three. We need to add two zeros here to make it three as well. Now what you want to consider is the fact that adding zeros at the end of a decimal does not change the value of that number. So in other words, 0 0.3 is equivalent to 0 0.30, is equivalent to 0 0.300. And we can add endless zeros. At the end of the day, it's still what? 0 0.3. These do not change the value of the original number, 0 0.3. Okay, so we can just add zeros at the end. So, based on that fact, let's look at this. So we have 0 0.03, 0 0.270, 0 0.015, etc. And let's start a compare. We started comparing the, the whole numbers, right? The whole number for each each number is the same, zero. So we're gonna go with decimal places. So we have we have zero here. So this is we have a zero here. We have uh well, so we know that these two numbers will be the smallest numbers because in the first decimal place, we have zeros. So of course the others are bigger because in this case we have a one in the first decimal place, we have five here, eight, three, and two here. So these will be our smallest numbers. So let's work with these two numbers for now. Let's go to the other decimal place for these two numbers that started with 0, 0.0. So we have 0, 0.0, 0, 0.0. Up to this point, they're the same. But the next digit after is a zero for this one, but it's a one for this one. So obviously this one is larger because one is greater than this zero. So in the, this is zero ones, tenth, hundredth. So in the hundredth place, we have a zero here. In the hundredth place, we have a one here. So this one is larger. So 0 0.003 is the smallest number that we have in this lineup, followed by, 0 0.015 okay all right so we finished with these guys here let's look at the others now okay so we look at 0, 0.0 let's look at 0 0.1 do we have any being 0 0.1 right here but this is the only one that start with 0 0.1 so that's the next number that we have 
in the lineup from what least to greatest okay remember these start with 0, 0.0 so these are much smaller this one that start with 0 0.1 obviously if we compare in the 10th place this one has a one and these have zeros okay so if we ignore this point it's like we're saying the number three this is like 15 and this is like 100 if we ignore the zero point a star here we're saying zero zero three that's three zero one five that's fifteen one zero is like a hundred three fifteen hundred you know if you want to think of it that way for now but let's go on now since we start with zero point one do we have any with zero point two yeah we have one right here only one that we have is zero point start with zero point two so that in the hundredth in the tenth place we have a two here the others we have a three we have an eight and a five so obviously this one will be the smallest of those that we have not cancelled out. Now let's get 0 0.3, 0 0.8, 0 0.5. Which one is smaller? The 0 0.3, obviously. So the next one, from least to greatest, will be 0 0.3 and 0, 0. Of course, the zeros don't matter in this case. And then we're going to put what? So it's like we're saying 300, 840, 502. So obviously, this one will be next. It's so like 300, 502, 840. But remember, we're saying 0 0.300, 0 0.502. That's how we really call those numbers, all right? And then we're going to have what next? The 0 0.840. All right, so from least to greatest, this is the final order. Hope that was helpful. And this is basically um, grade four or five math.